Semaglutide is an incretin mimetic glucide-like peptide 1 receptor agonist that enhances insulin secretion and suppresses appetite. It comes as a powder that requires mixing with sterile bacteriostatic water before injection. So it's very important that you mix properly the semaglutide with the bacteriostatic water, which you'll find right here. So the goal is to empower you to mix semaglutide properly and confidently at home. What is semaglutide? Semaglutide is an anti-diabetic, anti-obesity medication approved for treating type 2 diabetes and chronic weight management. It mimics the blood glucose lowering and appetite reduction effects of the gut hormone GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1, and belongs to the GLP-1 receptor agonist drug class. So here's a quick rundown of how it works and what are the indications. So it lowers blood sugar, induces weight loss, used for type 2 diabetes and obesity. Some of the brand names are, are Wagovi and Ozempic. Weight management is a common term among different people. Most people will follow a cardboard diet for weight loss. But is a cardboard diet good for your health? Let's find out here. A cardboard diet can have fluctuations and it's hard to stay on it. But using semiglutide, because of the appetite suppressant effect, it truly works as weight management. So how much bacterial static water to mix with 5 milligrams of semiglutide? To prepare a solution of 5 milligrams of semiglutide, it is advised to use 1.5 ml of bacterial static water. This procedure will yield a solution where each 1.5 ml contains 1 milligram of semiglutide. This leads to a solution with an approximate concentration of 0.33 milligrams per ml. And it's crucial to adhere to the guidelines that are provided to you by the professional who's prescribing you these medications. So here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to mix 5 milligrams of semaglutide with bacteriostatic water. So gather all the necessary supplies, including the 5 milligrams of semiglutide, the bacteriostatic water, your 3 ml syringe. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Remove the cap from the vial of the semiglutide. And then go ahead and just wipe the top of the, of the vial, even though it's, it is clean. And then you're going to go ahead and remove the cap on your bacteriostatic water. And <clears throat> go ahead and draw up. So insert the syringe right in the middle of your bacteriostatic water. And then draw up 2 ml. So you're going to go to the 2. Make sure there's not a lot of bubbles. So I like to overfill fill the syringe pull it out. You can tap on it with your finger and you can see the bubbles rise to the top of the syringe and then just go ahead and just push that right up until you see the two. Be careful because the rubber stopper sometimes makes it difficult to see that line exactly because your dosage and the amount of water that you insert into the semiglutide has to be exact. So we want to go right to the two, so you've got two mLs of water here, bacteriostatic water, and you're gonna insert it into your five milligrams of semiglutide. Again, right in the middle of, of the vial. And I slowly inject the water just to avoid creating air, air, air bubbles and, and uh, just makes for a cleaner mixture. And so there we've mixed our two milliliters of bacteriostatic water with our five milligrams of semaglutide. And then just slowly kind of mix it around and check to make sure that all the crystals and there's no particles left in the, uh, you know, looking through the glass here, you can see if there's any particles left. And it's a very clean mixture. And so this is now ready to be utilized and injected. So we've ratio mixed with 2 mLs of water, 250 micrograms, which will be the 10 on your insulin syringe. That's going to give you 
250 micrograms or 0.25 mLs of semaglutide. And so with your insulin syringe, you will again insert the needle right in the middle of the vial, turn it upside down, and then draw down to where you see the, the liquid, all liquid. Be very careful not to get air mixed up in there at the 10. And again, we'll tap on it, get any bubbles to rise to the top. So once you've drawn up 0.25 milligrams of semiglutide, which is 10 units on a 100 unit insulin syringe, you'll find the place on your body that you want to inject. A lot of people will inject on their side and their stomach and just you know, grab an amount of tissue, pinch it moderately tightly, and then insert the needle into the tissue and then inject the medication into that area. Uh, move the injection site around. Don't go to the same site. You want to move around so that you're not injecting the semi-glutide, even though it's just once a week. So you're not injecting in the exact same site every single time you inject. So weeks one through four will be to the 10. Weeks four through eight, you're going to drop down to the 20. So now you're going to have 0.5 milligrams of semaglutide over the next four weeks. If you feel it's too much, back down to the same dosage that you took in the beginning, which would be at weeks one through four, which would be the 0.25 milligrams or the 10 on the insulin syringe. If you go to 20 or 0.5 milligrams and you feel you're okay, the nausea is not too bad, stay there and just continue in that dosage. If you get used to, the, to how your stomach is feeling and the nausea, so you're gonna go 40 units, that's one milligram of the semi-glutide medication. You'll dose that appropriate to how you're feeling. Max dose will be 2.4 milligrams per week. So I doubt any of our patients will get to that level, but possibly.